Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Backbrace channel. My name is Amir and in this video I'm going to show you some Visual Studio Code shortcuts that can help you to faster your coding in Visual Studio Code. If you spend most of your working day writing code in various languages and frameworks in Visual Studio Code, shaving off some time from using the touchpad to navigate and modify the code can greatly improve your speed of task delivery. So you may very well be spending an extra hour a day just because you've never taken the time to learn the proper keyboard shortcuts. So as you can see, this is a simple index.html, that's uh, style.css, that's main.py file. So everything will work the same on the three files. So let's start by the first shortcut. And the first one is how to delete one line directly. To do that, you will hit Control shift k That deletes a whole line. So imagine you were to delete different lines by finding your line with the mouse cursor, you know, selecting your line with a double click and then pressing the lead. So compare this with this, something like that. Control Shift K, right? Um, you're most likely already at the line with your keyboard cursor. So there's virtually no head to deleting it. Um, I use it all the time, by the way. The second shortcut we have is how to select current line. To do that, you will hit Control L. That selects the whole line. You can delete that line, uh, you can copy it, you can paste it, you know, you can do many things. So selecting the line is also a pretty involved process, right? As you need to find the line you're already at with your mouse cursor and then double click it, which can usually throw you off your keyboard base flow greatly. So this one is really a time saver. And as we have Control L to select a line, we have Control D to select a word. For example, you can select that, copy, paste. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can do that. Uh, the same as Control L. So Control L to select the line, Control D to select the word. Shortcut number four we have is how to move the line. Let's say I want to move that line when we purge our junk and so on. I want to move it two lines below. Simply what you will do is you will hit Alt down or Alt up. So to move it down, Alt down to wherever you want. And to move it up, you will do Alt up. You can do that on a whole code block. So you can select whatever you want. Then you can do Alt down. So you're moving the whole code block or you can move it up. All right, the next shortcut that we have is how to indent an outdent line. And that's very important, especially that you're using something like Python, because indentation in Python is pretty critical. So if I want to move this like that, you can do backspace, it will return it to the beginning of the line. But what you can do instead is to do control left bracket or control right bracket. Similarly, you can do with the whole code block, control right bracket to indent, control out bracket to outdent. And of course, you can do the same thing with HTML. So you can take this whole code block, control um, right bracket to indent, indent again, 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 and outdent with the left bracket. For the next shortcut, we have automatic import. And this will give you a list of suggestions for importing a class, interface, etc. that you're trying to use and then auto import it upon selection. So if you will hit Control I, you can see here different classes that you can use. Um, if we'll do, for instance, class, so that's a class that's pretty basic. Control I again, okay, if we'll do print, that's printing. And this will change, of course, if you're using something like Django, Flask, FastAPI, Turbo Gears. So I cannot begin to explain how useful this is, right? Doesn't always work perfectly, um, especially if it's the first time importing something into a project. But in most other cases, it will work perfectly. Um, it will save you a ton of time compared to either finding the, the right uh, import statement or copying it from somewhere else. So Control I again, you can see. Um, here, as I said, uh, we don't have a ton of choices, but other languages or other projects, it might work perfectly for you. So you might want to give it a go. The next shortcut we have is to search files by name. The shortcut for that is Control P. 
So using the file explorer here is fine, but when you're really familiar with the project, uh, you usually know exactly what you're looking for. File name wise, of course. So as a result, using control P and typing first couple of characters to open a file will be much faster, especially in the big projects when you have a lot of files. Another useful one is how to move up and down in the file. And to do that, and you might have seen me doing that all the time in my tutorials, is to hit control down to move down and control up to move up. Notice without moving the cursor here. So just if I want to take a look to something and then return back. So for me, this works better than, I don't know, doing that. I feel I'm more in control. The next shortcut is how to open the integrated terminal. To do that, you will hit control tilde. This opens the integrated terminal directly here. And this is very useful to run servers, run Node.js projects or Python projects. Instead of going and open a new terminal and then navigating to the folder that you want, uh, just doing like that is very simple and very accessible, in my opinion. And as we're talking about terminals, we can open a new terminal in the terminal pane. To do that, you will simply hit Control Shift 5. This opens a new terminal in the same terminal pane. And how to minimize or zoom out in the terminal to do Control minus. This will minimize a little bit the whole VS Code fonts, not only while you're coding here. So if you will do Control plus, this increases everything, right? The menus, the file explorer, the, the code itself and everything. If you'll do Control minus, it minimizes everything, including the integrated terminal. And this is very useful if you have something like the, the backend, if you're working with Django here, and also you're running React server here, well, that's very good to understand if there will be any errors or, or any bugs, you can check them out. Instead of switching between your VS Code and independent terminal, you will have two terminal windows here open and uh, under your complete supervision. The next shortcut I have for you is how to open a folder in a new instance. So that's my current VS Code instance. And if I want to open a new VS Code instance, you can simply do Control Shift N. Then to open the folder selector, you can hit Control K and then Control O. And through here, of course, you can choose the project's folder that you want to open. All right. So again, Control Shift N, Control K, Control O to open your project's folder. This one is a very standard one to close various tabs. To do that, you will hit Control W. This one is a very important shortcut and it's used to change multiple words in the same time. So let's say that I want to change the word class by the word ID. So I have here the word class four times. If you'll do Control D to change the word, then do Control D again, again, and again. Now you can see that four cursors here are at the end of each class word. Now start to type ID and you'll find that they are all have changed in the same time. So that wraps it up for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like the video, share it with your friends. And if you're here for the first time, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get the latest updates from the channel. Once again, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and be well. See you later, guys.